Why is this Passover different from all other Passovers? On all other Passovers, we recount the adversities of ancient days. On this one, the adversities we face now. On all other Passovers, we gather together. On this one, many of us gather separately, some with family, some in virtual seders. But while the technology is new, what binds us as a community is eternal. And the story of Passover is the same as it's always been. A story of suffering and slavery and of lives threatened for the crime of being who we are. And yet, amazingly, a Seder is a night of celebration and a night of hope wherever we gather. But this moment poses a question. What about all those separated from their families with no family feast or gathering place? What about the displaced of the world? The 70 million surviving in tents and camps along borders and in places that can hardly be called homes? Those whose flight from violence and persecution make them even more vulnerable to the global crisis that confronts us all this Passover. It is for each of them that Hyas exists the world's oldest Jewish refugee agency. Advocating for the rights of all who seek safety from persecution, offering critical services to refugees everywhere. A cause powered by a global Jewish movement on behalf of refugees and asylum seekers, inspired by our own history of bondage and escape from Egypt. To every generation, we invite you to see yourself as though you too left Egypt. And for those celebrating Passover virtually, we hope you won't forget the millions whose suffering is not virtual. May this Passover inspire each of us to strengthen the Jewish response to the global refugee crisis, particularly during this global pandemic. Please visit highest.org to learn how you can help.